We are enemies. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> well, hello, hi. Hello. Uh, uh, what's your name? Hold on just a second. Let me get my piece of paper up here in front of me. Mrs. Olson. <laughs> Mrs. Olson. That's right. And I'm Mrs. Stone. Mrs. Stone. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so how, let's say, how are you doing, Mrs. Olson? Oh, I'm doing just fine, you know, planning to conquer the scientific instrument manufacturing world. Hmm. Yeah. You and I both. That means that we have to agree to agree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's agree to agree because we both want to conquer the scientific uh, manuf equipment manufacturing world. Okay, Mrs. Stone, what do you have in mind then? Well, so uh, what I think, as we said, we both want to conquer the um, manufacturing, what is it, medical equipment manufacturing, scientific equipment manufacturing world. And I must confess, you probably feel the same way that we dropped the ball on our first communication regarding this order that we're having so much trouble about. We, That's true. we should have signed a contract or at least confirmed something via um, email. email or something about what our terms were, but we didn't do it. And so as a result, we have a dilemma. You have the potential to lose money. I have the potential to lose money as a result of what we've done. Because you could have gotten more jobs probably from us if we had delivered on time and satisfied our customer that you made the equipment for. But we didn't do that. So um, we have to figure out something that, like, you know, will allow both of us to benefit and be able to possibly work together going forward. I agree, because so far we both have lost a lot of money. Yes. Um, I don't know how about you, but I don't want to go to trial. No, it doesn't seem like it's worth it if we're both willing to talk to each other. Okay. All right. So, what do you have in mind? Tell me, please. I agree that we have to work together, but mm -hmm. do you have some plans? Well, um, a good starting place for me would be, let's do 50-50. 50-50? of the costs we already lost yes 50 50 of the cost we lost because i know you would like some money from us and we owe money we had to end up paying money to the firm that we were supposed to bring the equipment into which would be some expense to you right right so how about this I like the 50-50 agreement mm -hmm. but i also want to have a commitment uh, from you telling me that I will be receiving more orders from you going forward. Based on our continuation in business and needing the kind of equipment uh, that you manufacture and supply and us making sure that we verify our terms, I believe that I can agree to that. Okay, so what about if this time we do it right and we sign a contract? Yes, that's yes. what I mean. Yes, even the terms that we're agreeing to right now, we probably need to do those in writing. Okay, so what about if we start a Google Doc? Okay. Just have it as a draft, and then we could either do it with a lawyer, so it's formal. Okay. Okay, but with a notary? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And then we can agree on... Uh, long-term relationship all right of course that long-term relationship has stipulations because even if we agree we have to meet the commitment that we agree to in each one of our contracts of course oh. otherwise it wouldn't make any sense yes all right I think that's a fabulous idea Love. so what else do we need to talk about start a Google Doc and we're on our way yeah I'm actually doing that right now, okay. and I'm going to share it with you. All right. So you can also see it while I'm writing. All right. 
contract of conquering the world. What about that? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, Mr. Marvin. Yes. Mr. Marvin. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Did you receive the document? It's still online. Okay, hold on. Hold Let on. me go there. Okay. Something has shared something with me, huh? Yes, the contract of conquering the world. I have it in hand. Oh, yeah. I saw that you are now here. Okay, so let's agree upon some terms. Um, first, we're going to pay 50-50. Right? Yes, 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 yes. I agree. Covering the current costs um, long term relationship Long-term commercial relationship. Um, do you want to say about how many orders every year, or should we do some forecasting? <clears throat> Why don't we agree to spend some time in the next 60 days where we will look at each one of our long year-long plans and then make a determination there. Because I can't really say right now until I work with the rest of my team about what our future uh, orders are going to be. Okay, so 60-day plan? Yes. Um, so what about if we talk every other week just to see where we're at, right. and then we can um, create a plan after? All right, I agree. That sounds like a good idea. Um, but our, so, our, our, our objective here is to make a commitment to each other to uh, work together going forward. Yeah. Okay. Commitment to each other to work together going forward. Okay, so what about covering the current costs that we have, 50-50? How are we going to do that? Because, of course, there are some deadlines that you have to cover, that I have to cover. Um, I really need the money that I already delivered you because I have to pay my suppliers. Right. And then, of course, there was money that we lost that we were deducted because we were late. So um, um, give me just one second here. I'm going to go. Do you think that we can cover all these costs in the next... 12 days before October is over? Uh, by the month-end uh, transactions? Right. Let's make that our plan. Okay, so by the end of October, we will cover the total amount of our 50-50 agreement. All right. Do you want to do it in one payment or how do you want to do it? And if we can uh, say when we're going to do it and how much we're going to pay each time, that would be really helpful. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So um, I don't have a calendar here in front of me. So the, the end of the month, the 31st is on, can you see over there, Louise? It's on a Friday? Yes. Okay. All right. So let's say um, by Thursday the 30th. Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that way we can, our, our accounting departments can get it in their books for the 31st. Mm hmm. Um, pay. Okay. And then are we going to do only one payment or how do you prefer to do it? Well, if we're trying to do it by the end of the month, we should probably do one payment. Okay. So you say that 
that you lost how much money? Okay, well, I know that you would like to get, uh, what did I lose here? Let me add up what I lost because I don't have that completely added up, sorry. Um, We're not going to even consider the fact that we lost future contracts. So we're going to make sure that we have future contracts with each other. Right. That, that was a pretty intense loss. Um, so I had about 15500 in overtime payments plus the penalty. Plus the penalty to... Um, for being late, which was thirty-seven five hundred. So basically, you lost one hundred and eighty-six thousand um, dollars. One hundred and eighty-six thousand. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you owe me two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. I, I will go with 280, even though I'd like to do 270, but because we're agreeing to 50 50, I'm going to go with that. Okay. So, how should we do this transaction? So that our bookkeeping departments can keep it straight, I would like to do cash, I mean, uh, straight. Every you, I, We pay you, you pay us. And that way we don't have to have any entries cross-referencing it'd be better to just keep it straight so we should send to you um, the 280 by uh, the 30th of October and I should send you 186,500 by the 30th of October that's correct okay all right that's fair okay So paying for I will pay a hundred and eighty six thousand five hundred. And I'm sorry, can you remind me the name of your company? Stone, right? Uh huh. Stone. Stone yeah. Instruments. Stone Instruments. Okay, two hundred. And eighty thousand five hundred, right? Yes. Okay. And then on our plan, I think we are done talking about that. Okay. What do you think? I think so too. That's that. That basically resolves everything. Yeah, and as we said before, since we are so interested in being successful, uh, I think having a good long-term relationship yes it's the most important thing yes um so probably it's worth talking about how we can create more partnerships or alliances or all right so um uh, if you have any connections that you could send our way you know as a, a primary vendor you probably sometimes have to go through secondaries so if there's people that you go, oh, uh, we'd like to, and you could send them to us, and we just funnel it through to you. That way we both get something. Okay, so should we add this to the contract? Yes. Then secondary. You're smiling in a suspicious way. Oh, am I? You don't I'm don't smiling? Don't... Why am I smiling? Because we're working this out. We're not going to court. Okay. <laughs> Send secondary clients to you. At least that's my understanding. Generally, um, like you are um, a, a primary supplier and that you can't sell directly to certain people. Right. Yes. So the way for you to get sales is through, um, through uh, companies like us. Right. So if anybody's interested, you say, yes, please contact Stone Instruments and we will take care of you. Okay. All right. Send, send secondary clients to you, and then um, 
I think it would be fair probably not to charge a commission because you're going to commit to, to buy all the material from us. Not to charge a commission. Right? Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Or do you sense. think it would be fair to give us some sort of commission in addition to you buying all your supplies from us? Well, how do you end up making your profit? How what? How do you end up making your profit? We want to make sure that we both make a profit. Well, sure. Without but having to overcharge whoever the interested customer is. Right, right. Uh, but since you're not going to do all your uh, sales, um, I don't know if you want to consider that. Probably wouldn't have to decide that right now. Probably during our 60-day plan. Okay. We can okay. Pass it how we could uh, sell more because of course it's on both of our interests to right. sell as much as possible all right and however we both need to be considerate of our own limitations yes and not commit to crazy orders yes <laughs> yes because remember we're conquering the world that's yes. right and we gotta have profit to do that that's true all right so send secondary clients to you. I like that idea. Discuss further um, the possibility of a sales commission. Yeah, in essence, we're going to be working out all of the terms of our um, our uh, transactional agreement. Right. Okay. And we're going to do that in the next 60 days. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you want to add something else? Not at, not at the moment, I don't. And um, since it's a Google Doc, then we can, you know, make edits to it going forward. Um, and let's try other than maybe we might want to do um, uh, two documents. One that's our commitment regarding the October 30th payment. And then uh, an addendum to it that is about our um, future transactions. Okay, it, it, I would like be good, it would be good I, to have a final document right now on the issues that we had and then have another one about our future. Okay, and um, would you be willing to sign it? Yes. Okay. Then let me make another document right now. You know, it could actually be the same document, just have this agreement about the the 60-day plan as an addendum. Okay. And then we'll sign that in the future when Sounds we, good. When we work out the me, terms. Let me pass it to the second page. Okay. Okay. Addendum. 60-day plan. Going forward, parties and things. Okay. So probably, um, it would be important to say something like, I hereby commit to comply with this agreement or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What she did say. Well, first we should probably uh, put something up here at the top that says uh, that this is a... Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, What should we call this? This is actually financial. Oh. Um, Let me see. Resolution of a financial agreement. Okay, that sounds good. Or financial agreement resolution. That's something like that. Um, right. Well, what is that, that order that we did? Chrono chronometers. Chronometers, that's right, chronometers. Uh-huh. Probably we could even specify something like, um, for having yeah, right. been delivered or for the confusion on the delivery or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find it, it uh, open it up and make it correct. I just don't have it right here. Mm -hmm. Where is it, Eloise? Okay, there it is. It's, my camera is on top of it. <laughs> oh. Ah, there you go. Chronometers, and it is for the Davis Parks chronometers. Spelling that wrong, C H R O N O. Um, yeah. Covering the current class with the fifty. say something like Mrs. Olsen or Mrs. Marvina Olsen and What's your first name, Miss Olson? My first name is Ella. Okay. When Mrs. Ella Olson agreed to cover covering the current to cover the current cost fifty fifty, right? Yes. The conditions that they agree to are
Okay. All right. So are there any consequences if we do not meet our commitment? Yes. If for some reason any of the involved parties decide not to cover the current costs. Let's say that it would be considered a breach of contract and um a felony. Uh, yes. A felony. <laughs> Not a felony, but it would be a breach of contract. And that um, either party would have uh, legal grounds to uh, pursue. Uh, uh, what about interests? Um, I think that if any of the parties, like the first thing that would happen, if we don't cover these costs by the end of the month, yeah. Uh, yeah. We would charge an additional 5% every day that passes. And after 10 days, yeah. if the yeah. party still didn't cover the cost, then, yeah, it would be a breach of contract. Okay. What about that? All right. Well, it's going to be a breach of contract okay. even if you don't do it, but that after that time period that the, uh, the parties would... Uh, um, be able to pursue uh, uh, damages. Yeah, sounds of damages. good. Okay. Do you want to type that? No, you were you were typing for, that. Okay. If for some reason any of the involved parties decide not to cover the current costs, it will be either a breach of contract. Mm hmm. These will incur in five percent, five percent daily interest, daily cumulative interest. Oh, that's intense. Yeah, because we don't want to break the contract, right? <laughs> we don't want to break the contract, but whoa, okay, we're making it harsh. Okay. And, and if we do break it, <laughs> yes, we are gonna pay. Yeah, that that's not a good thing. We don't want that. That's for sure. Yes. Because that's what got us in trouble. Okay. So this, I mean, I don't think it will happen. Yes, I understand. Yeah. But we just want to make sure that we have an agree. That we put all of our terms into this contract because we did not do what do we it. needed to do before. So let's okay. do it. Thoroughly this time. Okay, so this will incur in five percent daily cumulative interest for ten days. Uh huh. If after ten days the total cost hasn't has not been fulfilled. B e e n. I know the type. The computers are so smart. Not being, but then. B E A N. Sorry. Uh -huh. Hmm. What are what's gonna happen? That's where we said that the um, um, the party have um, parties may pursue um, legal proceedings to recover damages or restitution or something like that to cover damages okay mm -hmm. to be made whole okay okay all right so then we need to sign a place here for you and me to sign with the date yes okay Eva Olson Arvina 
Marvina Stone. Okay. Okay, Marvina. Do you have a digital signature or something? I don't. I should, huh? I guess I'll have to get one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Well, um, can I have uh, until today is Sunday? Could I have until Wednesday to come up with a digital signature? Yeah, and then can we also uh, put as an addendum our IDs, maybe our passports or our licenses? Wow, that's pretty intense. We should at least put our tax ID number. Why don't you put that in the as a line down there where we're signing? Right. I mean, just to make sure that our signature is actually our signature. Ooh, whoa! You don't trust me? I worked at a bank, and that was just usual procedure. <laughs> that's pretty intense. I guess uh, uh, we're doing international business if you feel that way. I'm not oh. trying to hide anything, so it's not a problem. Okay, sounds good. All right, can you place a line down there at the bottom, though, for us to put our tax ID numbers for our firms? Yes. right yes that's fine i'm in agreement this is wonderful thank you so very much it's been a pleasure working with you now let's get down here to the addendum yes um 60 day plan going 60 day plan going forward and we're going to so let's put in here that we're going to do uh weekly check-ins um, does today work good for you, like every week? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Okay, sounds all right. good. So weekly check-ins till we flush out all the terms of this addendum. Every Sunday at 9 p.m., 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Pacific time. Yes. Okay. And uh, that we should have this worked out within 60 days. So yeah. 60 days from today would give us a deadline of, oh, wow, December the 19th. Okay. Okay, just before Christmas. So it will be a happy Christmas for both of us. <laughs> yeah. We will know how we will become very, very successful. Conquering the okay. world. Sounds good. Okay. Wonderful. All right. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Signatures by Wednesday. Yes, and also the tax ID number, and then yes. we're done, and our accounting um, departments will talk. They will contact you to ask you for your yes. bank account number. Okay. We're going to do transfers. Yeah, I think okay. that's the best. That sounds good to me. Yeah. We'll do that. Wire transfers. So I will let my accounting department know. Maybe I will CC you in my emails, in my conversations with them. Okay. And probably you can also do that and we'll be ready to go.
Wednesday the twenty third. Mm -hmm. Twenty second. I'm sorry. Twenty second. Okay. Okay. You good? Yes, we are good. I'm good. I'm pleasure. pretty happy with the agreement we've made. Yes. I hope we can continue to do business together. Yes, we will. It's been okay. a pleasure. All right. Have a lovely evening. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad that we were able to work this out and uh, avoid any litigation. You too. Yes. Have a lovely evening. Good. Good night. Good night. Um, are we supposed to give ourselves feedback? Right now? I don't know. I, I think there was supposed to, wait, aren't, our, aren't we supposed to do feedback with uh, um, some other team? Yeah. I think it said that we had to do feedback for like five minutes or something. Oh, the two of us? Okay, let's do feedback right. for five minutes. Okay. Well, um, I think that, uh, what are you? Are you an accommodator? Uh, I'm in between. <laughs> You're an accommodator. I'm kind of a, a, a compromiser. So, um, so it, I think that it was, we were, e it was easy for us to work together. Um, as I recall, like in some of the activities, the exercises we did early on in class, you know, the one that we did with the line, yeah. like, you know, it was like 50-50 and let's just get on with it. Um, especially considering the circumstances of the case, um, that neither one of us wanted to go to court. Right. Both of us have a reputation to protect. Um, and so I think that it was a wise idea for us to approach it that way. And it seemed to just really... Um, allow us to get to the heart of resolving it instead of like having a, a bunch of resistance because we we both acknowledged very at the, at the beginning we had made the mistake both yeah. of us did so like you know we kind of both were at to blame 50 50 to blame so it just seemed natural to have a 50 50 responsibility right I think it was good that neither of us uh, was trying to be super aggressive about it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I think it was also really good that we did the contract. At the end. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, because that was our, our fault the first time. Um, and um, the idea that neither one of us was trying to get all of the pie is just, you know, like we were. it was really easy to work with you. You made suggestions, I made suggestions, and um, we were both uh, pretty accommodating. Yeah, especially since we both made a mistake. I don't think it's fair for any of us to mm -hmm. get more pie than the other one. Right, <laughs> right. So, yeah. Acknowledging that that's a mistake that uh, we don't want to repeat um, means that we learn something. Right, and that we want to continue making business. So yes. It's the most important thing. Okay. Good. All right. And then I guess we'll uh, do the thing with whoever the other team is, the feedback. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. And let's do the 28th. All right. right? Yes. Bye-bye. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. Have a good night. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Be safe. You too. Bye.